This is the Nation of Rotation. My name is Spade, and welcome to the Olympics Week. Probably the lamest thing you ever heard the whole week, but I digress. But yeah, this will indeed be the beginning of the Rotation Battle Week that I was talking about a while ago that I would be doing. You know, a while ago I did a bunch of Rotation matches. And uh, this was the first one that I did. I kind of wanted to try out one strategy in particular, and then I had just a couple other random ideas, and uh, that's how this kind of random team was born. And in this match, uh, I'll be mostly showcasing the first three guys on this team. There's uh, Sable Eye and the Ludicolo that mostly have uh, some synergy going on together and then Chansey is meant to be paired with Dragonite but it also works as an all-around good support guy for the whole team so um, that's a little backup story for this match I'll be explaining more of the team later on in the matches when we get into that but my opponent he has High Dragon and friends and he actually goes straight for the Focus Blast just expecting to hit the Chansey I guess well, yeah, there's no other real good reason. Although, that would have done, like, nothing to Chansey anyways. But, uh, I play kind of aggressively right off the bat. I set up a Source Dance with my Ludicolo, and then I'm going to rotate into my Sableye to manually set up the Rain Dance. And now I will have Rain Dance going on for four turns. I do run only leftovers, because I figured it would be... Four turns would be more than plenty, and, uh, in... Pretty much all of the situations that I played with this team, it was always enough. So I didn't need Dan Brock or anything like that. So I set up the Rain Dance and uh, he's gonna talk to me, doesn't matter because I do have a heal better. I guess you can guess which one it is. But yep, yeah, I go for the plus two Rain Boosted a Stab and Life Orb Waterfall and he rotates into his Gengar, easily one shot that thing. Uh, all Although the unfortunate thing is that uh, Life Orb is wearing me down and I do have the special defense drop as well. So I'm kind of trying to uh, fix that right now as he sends out his Burungeru or Jellicent. And I am just going to make a wish with my uh, Chansey and I'm hoping to pass it to Ludicolo. And then I'm hoping to take out this Jellicent and uh, he doesn't feel like rotating into anything like his Hydreigon. So I just go for the plus two stab. Life Orb, uh, Seed Bomb, that will easily take out the Jellicent, even if he's running like max HP, max defense, doesn't matter, it's plus two and stab and all that crap, so uh, easily take him out. And then I get hit with Life Orb, but then I will also get the Wish, so I'm back to full health and I just knocked out another one of his pokes. So just, things are just going great for me. And uh, now he's gonna send out his uh, Reuniclus, and I just wanna see how much will Waterfall do. And still he's not rotating into his uh, High Dragon, which I was kind of fearing. But then again, he's most likely choiced, choice Scarfed. And uh, he survives the hit, but he doesn't take me out with the Psychic. Which means that he's definitely running a max HP, uh, max defense set. Because I, yeah, you already saw that I got a special defense drop and I'm running offensive Ludicolo. So if he was running offensive set like with Life Orb, definitely would have taken me out, but uh, that is not the case. Rain does wear out, so I am going to just rotate into Sableye to uh, set up the Rain again. As he just uses Psychic, uh, I guess he really could have taken advantage of the Rain wearing out and just gone for the Recover, but then again, uh, the Recover only would have restored like 50% uh, of his health. Lefties, so I don't think he would have still reached the range where he could have taken another rain boosted waterfall. So, in the end, it doesn't really matter, it just makes things a lot easier for me. So, I don't need to worry about like min max damage or anything like that. But, uh, anyways, yeah, down goes the uh, Reuniclus, and now he's gonna go into his uh, Blissey again as I go into my. Sable, I was trying to burn the Scrafty, I was kind of expecting that he would try to do something with the Scrafty, with the fresh man. But uh, he actually just goes into his uh, Blissey and uh, goes for the uh, Seismic Toss. So that works out because uh, I obviously don't take any damage from it and at least I get some residual damage going on on the Blissey. Uh, but uh, 
Anyways, now I'm gonna rotate into my Chansey and I'm gonna make another wish because I kind of want to pass that to my uh, Rudicolo, who is kind of uh, getting low on health once again with the life orb and the damage it has already taken. And he actually reveals that he has aromatherapy, so uh, that that's that's pretty good to know, so that I won't be you know randomly willow wisping again because it would be kind of pointless as long as this uh, Blissey is around. But anyways, uh, I rotate into my uh, Ludicolo again, and I'm gonna smack the Scrafty. I'm not really sure why he rotated uh, his Scrafty in, because judging by, by uh, how much I was able to do to his physically defensive Reuniclus, there's no way that his Scrafty is gonna be able to take the hit. Uh, but uh, anyways, I live the life orb recoil, and I'm able to get the wish again, and uh, Ludicolo is yet again back to full health which is just amazing but the rain does wear out so and what I'm going to do here is uh, actually before going into uh, going into my uh, Sable I'm gonna go into my Chansey and just use Heal Bell he actually goes for the Toxic again so that works out really well because I just went for the Heal Bell so I get rid of the Toxic on my Chansey and my Sableye and now on the following turn since I'm uh, since I've seen that uh, his uh, Blissey has Seismic Taws I'm just going to set up a substitute first, because I've also seen that his Hydreigon is most likely locked into that uh, Focus Blast, so uh, there's no way that he can break this sub. And uh, since he now notices that he's completely screwed, there's nothing he can do to my Sableye. And I have like Ludicolo set up in the background, he's just going to flee. And uh, yeah, definitely the smart choice here, because it was kind of pointless to continue as he there as there was absolutely nothing that he could have done so that will be the game and uh, that was the first match of the Olympics week so hope you guys enjoyed uh, leave a thumbs up if you did I would really appreciate it and uh, yeah this week I will be only posting these rotation matches so uh, after that we'll be going back to uh, black and white too, but I figured this would be a fine idea, many people seem to like it when I was talking about it the last time a while back, so finally I'm doing it, and yeah, still like nobody is really doing rotation battles, which is a real shame in my opinion, I personally really like doing rotation matches, because they're just, it's a whole different concept, and there's like so much a freaking prediction going on if you just manage to find like somebody who's actually has a really good team and like knows what they're doing because uh, you know you can predict like so many things when there's well there's technically in rotation battles there's only like one Pokemon active at the time but you can rotate between your uh, team of three Pokemon at the same time at the field you have three Pokemon at the field but only one Pokemon is active at the time, so like you can predict your opponent to rotate into any one of his pokes, his or her pokes, and uh, then you can like try to predict what move is he going to use from the three pokes that he has at his disposal, and it's just kind of a clusterfuck of predictions, I am sorry about the F word, but that, that's what it basically is in a nutshell whenever you just manage to uh, find some really good battles, but um, yeah, this was kind of a, again, a one-sided battle. I didn't really have too many incredibly great battles, but a uh, few of them were at least uh, pretty good, so we'll get to that those ones uh, later this week. I'll have to see. I have like 10 battles backed up, so I will be posting seven of them, like one every day, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to be choosing like uh, some, some of them, if there's like few really bad ones I will be most likely just leaving those out and just posting kind of the cream from the top but uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow so I'm gonna just gonna stop rambling and uh, I will check you guys uh, tomorrow so stay tuned for mo more rotation uh, tomorrow and the black and white 2 Wi-Fi matches will continue uh, then after this week but yeah that is everything for today until uh, Tomorrow is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace!